You know, sometimes you approach companies as a freelancer because you see they have really bad websites. A lot of times they build them themselves with Wix, WordPress, whatever. And oftentimes you talk with these people and they just tell you, well, I don't want to hire a web developer. I'm good enough to do it myself. I'm going to keep doing it myself on my own. And a lot of web developers, I assume, probably give up at that point, try to find other clients. But I just want to let you know that uh, I've managed to get a lot of these people to end up as my clients. For example, um, one of them, I offered them to be a consultant and help him inc Im improve his website, tell him uh, about web design, tell him, uh, teach him how to be able to modify his website right now and in the future and teach him the skills he needs to build good design for his website. He's been really happy and, you know, uh, consultant jobs break the, mon the monotony of having, you know, always the same type of web development jobs all the time or whatever. And that was one of my funnest web jobs. And, you know, I managed to make a lot of money doing this. So you can offer to be a consultant and show them how to modify the, their website themselves. Otherwise, what you can do is, you know, uh, oftentimes these people, they're not necessarily afraid of paying for a web developer, but they're afraid that you're going to build them a website that they can't modify. Or maybe they just want to have a website where they've done most of the work themselves. And what I've done for one uh, woman, local woman, she had a, uh, a pole dancing gym. What I did for her is basically I said, okay, you made your website. I'm just going to modify it a little bit to make it a lot better. I'm going to change the, the, the page structure. I'm going to change the home page, And I'm just going, going to boost uh, the results of what you're doing right now because, you know, you did a fairly okay job, but, you know, you're not a web designer and you made a couple of mistakes. I'm just going to fix those mistakes for you real quick. And this is going to allow you probably to get a lot more results. And she found that interesting. You know, it was a small contract, didn't charge her a lot of money for it, and she felt it was really worth it. And, you know, that's something you, you can offer as well. They want to keep their Wix site. They want to keep their WordPress thing. They want to, you know, they don't want you to make something new. You can still offer some small adjustments. And I think, in my opinion, uh, these small adjustments can make a huge difference. Oftentimes, you're contacting people. Their websites are ugly and the content on it is absolute bullshit that won't sell and won't do shit. But, you know, uh, hopefully as a web developer, you've got a bit of design and uh, a bit of knowledge and design and you can help them with that. So, yeah, so those are my tips. If you stumble on clients who uh, want to absolutely have their own website that they do themselves, uh, those are two things that you can offer them. I've been successful making money with both, making good money with both. And yeah, try that out. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, uh, subscribe for more content on freelancing. And I'll see you soon. Take care.